can we finally have this conversation the world shouldn't living a 1% life require 1% circumstances and actions? Like this notion that it's going to be easy to be an all-time great in anything. No. I sacrificed my entire no. childhood to be a great entrepreneur. Just, just for the record, I have deep-rooted shit because I was not a normal child. I worked every day of my fucking life. Just so everybody's, like I'm happy, but like I got shit. Everyone has shit. Yeah. I, of course, it. how could you want to be one of the great, how is that, how do, how do people not understand the difficulties are gonna be there. Everyone's and looking at your son right now who's in America, who's a soccer player, and it's like, oh, lucky, awesome, good for him, all no. good stuff. Do they wanna go to Germany at 15 and fucking <sighs> have that culture shock? Or do they wanna go to the prom? Exactly. Or do they wanna hook up with Sally? Or do they, with a Visco girl? Or like, what do they, like, what do they want? Like, like, are you fucking kidding me? Enough. You wanna be fucking LeBron? Bleed like LeBron. You wanna be Beyonce? Bleed like Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's uh, it was something. I, yeah, I'll, yeah. I mean, I'll never forget. You know, those first few months. You know, and just not allowing him to 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 dwell, make an excuse to dwell, or to say dwelling is fucking suck it up, cancer. get up in the morning. If this is what you want, this is how it's going to be. Yeah, and it's not for anybody who's listening who might be confused to saying, well, how is that any different than the person yelling at the back of the car after? It's not that. It's accountability versus ridicule there's a reason those two words exist they're different well and i think i think it's also because i think also what you can do with that kid that doesn't want to get up and doesn't want to do these things that's okay like you don't have to be in the top one percent of soccer players in this country but then but and you don't have to get up right now but you have to understand that that it's like I, your actions have consequences and so you need to decide what it is that you want and then act accordingly we and li- then we live in a world that people's actions do not match the ambitions coming out of their mouth. Sure. Yeah. The end. And you, you can even... change either. You can change you can change your actions Correct. or you can change your ambition. Correct. It's, I think either either is an option. Let me give you I don't an example. Think anybody... let, me, let me give you yeah. an example. My bro- my son is like I'm going to dunk and I'm like, "Look, already he's 7." I'm like, "Listen, man. Mommy and daddy, we're not the, we're not you guys. I'm not sure we're giving you the DNA for that." I'm like, "Look, do your thing." And, and I had this crazy combo, like somebody overheard it and was like, that's weird. They thought I was like crushing dreams. And the combo ended with me saying, look, I think you could be a really, really awesome intramural city league player, <laughs> right? <laughs> and like, he was like, you know, he's six at the time, five at the time. He's like, what is that even? I don't know if he even knows the city league basketball. Yeah. Like, I'm like, look, D3, shitty squad, three point shooter, maybe like, you know? Yeah. Uh, but. Here's what's interesting about that. A father or a mother that says that to a kid, if that, do you know how many people told me that I couldn't? I didn't give up or said, oh, my mom and dad or others said I couldn't. That got me more fired up. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking stick it to everybody. That was my structure. To your point there, like, like this notion that you can be LeBron, baby. You know, like, like the thought of like that conversation, that's doing a lot of damage. And to your point, when you're 14 year old who want, look, that, tw- that 11 to 16 year old range gets real interesting to me because these kids start changing and all of a sudden the 13 year old guy, uh, just cliche stories, the 13 year old guy who's gonna be the next fucking Mbappe, mm-hmm. that's what he thinks, all of a sudden grew six inches, took his braces off and the cutest girl at his camp thinks he's cute and his chemicals changed, you know, his world just changed. It changes. And if he huh. then changes and all of a sudden he doesn't want to be Mbappe, well, guess what? That's life too. Yeah. But take yeah. it from somebody who went through high school where all of a sudden I also grew and I was charismatic and I had things and I thought it was more fun to go to sleep at 8.30 p.m. on a Friday instead of going out with cool chicks because I wanted to wake up at 5 a.m. to do a flea market. This is real talk now. Yeah. Well, then there's no mistake of why I got here. This is not by accident. This is not no. luck. This is I put in the work and it's because it was interesting to me. It was more interesting to me to go to Flemington's flea market than to go out with Pam Moses. 